As the Saskatoon Blades approach the midpoint of the 2014-2015 season, we thought it was a good time to look back at the year so far. The biggest team news came in the off-season, as it was announced last year's head coach Dave Struish and longtime coach and general manager Lauren Mollican would not remain with the team. The number of players that have went through here, each and every one of them we're extremely proud of. Um. Just over two months later, after an exhaustive search and interview process involving more than 100 candidates, former Anaheim Ducks assistant coach Bob Woods was named the team's sixth general manager and 20th head coach. He was signed to a five-year deal that brought the Leroy Saskatchewan native closer to home. When you can go back to where it all began, I was hoping to be able to bring a Stanley Cup back here at one time, but uh, you know that might be down the road. Right now, we're just worried about uh, getting the Blades back on track and where they expect to be and want to be, and uh, the sooner we can do that, the better. Optimism reigned supreme at training camp in Warman as the team looked to put a forgettable 2013-14 season behind them. That camp's been great, you know, I thought the guys have worked extremely hard, you know, they're, we're throwing a lot of information at them and they seem to be grabbing a lot of it, which is impressive, and again, they're a fun group to work with. But there were definite growing pains as the season got underway and the team struggled to an 0-6 start. Woods showed he wasn't inclined to stand pat, pulling off a series of trades in September and October including shipping out last year's best player Nikita Sherback, that completely reshaped the roster. We went out and tried to find the best deals we could find and I think bringing Henry in is going to help our back end. He's a power play guy, a veteran guy, so that's going to help. Uh, bringing McKechnie in, another older guy that you know everybody says is tough to play against, which when I hear those words I'm excited about that. The team appeared to turn things around in mid-October, winning four out of five and significantly improving the mood at practices. You know the atmosphere is uh, different, it's always fun to come into the, the building after when you're winning and uh, again hopefully they like it uh, so much that they want to keep it going. But shortly thereafter the Blades lost several players to injury in a relatively short period of time and the results on the ice remained inconsistent. They're coming off of a tough BC road trip that saw them go 0-5 and they remain one of two teams in the WHL that have yet to crack the 10-win plateau. As a playoff appearance once again seems unlikely, it remains to be seen if the team will once again look to move veteran players with an eye to the future as they head into the second half of the season. For Sega's Inside Edge, I'm Simon Hyatt.